And there's a few guns, there's a few things in here you can get. Some combat rifle ammo. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I hadn't been in here yet. So I could have sworn I had. And it's hard to keep it all straight in my brain. So, you just go over here. I don't think I have. Anyways, you go over here and you click on your computer. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. All right. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. All right. And that elevator's gonna be out of order until you return to Detroit. So let's head on down. I think there's a side quest coming up. I mean, it should have come in already. Maybe when I get off the uh, off the elevator, it'll pop up. Come on, come on, come on! Long elevator rides are boring. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Jensen. I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Richard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. <laughs> I love how stereotypically white they made Pritchard like he wouldn't know anything about that <laughs> I might as well check out the arms dealer while I'm here he might have an upgrade or something that I want let's see here we go jump on in oh, I kinda like this too hold on <laughs> hello my name is lies like that's some weird graffiti right there. I mean, even as far as graffiti goes, usually they don't make name tags. Alright, here we go, here we go. Come on. Take a look. I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Alright. Got some ammo. Mm, not really anything that I want to buy. Maybe the machine gun ammo. Machine pistol, whatever. Okay, that's it. Alright. That was the quest I was hoping for. You had to meet Zeke in an alley. Do do do. Which means going back to Saris. Basically, they just pick the two farthest spots from each other on the map and they just tell you to go there for all their side quests. Alright. I like that little shortcut down there, though. I think it's faster than going through the subway, so I never bother with the subway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did I get, uh... No, I didn't spend those yet. Yeah, let's get this going. This is the Icarus Landing System, and it is fantastic. Now you can fall from as far as you freaking like, and you'll land gently on the ground. Which is so, so nice. It gives me so much more confidence when playing that I'm not just going to eat it for no real reason. 
Alright, so we got Ezekiel over here. We're gonna talk to him, but then we're gonna kill him because he comes back again, but the next time he tries to come back, he tries to kill you. So we're just gonna kill him first. I see you got my message, Cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on a gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Tink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take her to leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. Alright. So, let's do a little quick save. And take these bitches out. I recommend taking him first and then doing a kill move on this guy. Now we just have to take Zeke. Got him. Alright. And that's that. Grab his money. And loot some of these people. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Out of space? Oh, then reload. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Items. I'll just take the protein powder. I'd rather have... Yeah, I'd rather have the ammo, quite frankly. Alright. Oh, boy. Ew. Nothing bad going on back here. No need to be alarmed, police officers. Everything's cool. So you had these people know. That's what I don't get. I use silenced weapons. Oh! It's because Zeke got off a shot. That's why they're all freaked out. Durr. Oh well. By the time we see them again, if we ever see them again, I think... Yeah, I think we'd, we could see them again, but we probably won't. But they'll be calmed down by then. Any more? How close am I to a Praxis kit? 1780? That's not too bad. Alright. Am I heading away from Seraph? I am. Okay. Drat. I'm gonna zip over to Seraph's, but I'm not gonna make you watch me get there because I wanna open up that last uh, level 5 door. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we are at the helipad. And the door that I've been talking about all this time is right down there. Do, 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 do. Climb on down. And do... Here it is, level 5. Do a quick save. And away we go. Alright, we have one, two goodie boxes. I'm gonna do a nuke virus on that. I'll just grab that with the nuke virus when I'm, when I'm done here. Access granted. Alright. Got 500 bucks and a master hacker bonus. Let's see. What do I have to put down? I'll put this down for a second. We got an ammo capacity upgrade. Combine that. My combat rifle is all maxed out. Machine pistol... It can either get to 70 or 80, I forget which. But it's like a lot of ammo that it can hold later on in the game. Oh, no, 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 no. I need... See, here's the thing. If I don't pick it up, it will despawn. But if I pick it up and drop it, then it will not despawn when I come back here. But you can't just leave it and expect it to still be there. So, who knows what will be useful. I'll just drop that. So I can at least touch it. And drop that. Because I want my machine pistol ammo. Okay. Next thing I need to do is get to DRB territory. So I'll just run up there. Gonna pretty much assume you know where it is by now. But basically just keep heading north. 
Alright. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so we're on DRB territory more or less right now. If you're wondering where that is on the map. We came from Seraph's office, which is right down there. And we went all the way north, and we're right up here. Alright. And there's just a few scarce enemies left in here. Not really much to worry about. Jensen! How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. <laughs> He's such a dick about it. Alright. So, let's do a quick save. Take out your silenced laser scoped weapon. Take him out. Yo, man, I thought we had cable. How comes I ain't getting nothing but Pikes loot? That's all we do, Jeff. Ever since that purity dude went up on the roof and hacked the antenna. Sanders, friend? Hey, you all right? All right, that's how we do. And just loot whatever they got here. Machine pistol ammo, that's good. Nope. Protein bar pack. Yeehaw. Oh man, we are just cooking. Yeah. Now I don't have to worry about falling off these ladders. I can fall all I want. I'll fall from the top floor if I feel like it. Alright, so for this next part. There are a bunch of mines, and I don't know of any way to do this stealthily. If anyone does know, please tell me, because I don't know what it is, but there's no way to get through this, as far as I know, without setting off every one of those mines. So, here goes nothing. And that'll trigger these two guys. I have my grenades out, so that's what I'm going to choose to do here, is just throw a couple... Unless it looks like I can get him pretty easy. Yeah, I guess I can probably get him pretty easy. Let's get him. Fucking Pow. Pow. Yeah, Alright. That went smoother than I thought it would. Let's quick save. Well, not quick save just yet. I want to loot these bitches. Alright. And here's what we've been looking for. This will shut down the signal, so let's quick save. And since this is one that's critical for the mission, it's always a level 1. They always make those really easy so you don't screw them up or whatever, because they don't know what augmentations you chose to get or not get or for what reasons. So there's two goodie boxes, no exit on the red. Pretty simple. Access granted. Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. Okay, and you're about to leave the level. If, she, if you accept what she says, when she asks if you're ready to go, she means leave the level. So make sure that you're ready, got everything packed, and you're ready to go. Here she comes in the bee. Bee. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Mr. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on.
Richard, you got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only able to pinpoint an approximate area, Jensen. So scout around and look for anything unusual. I'll keep monitoring the frequency in case it suddenly goes active. Alright, well, this looks like a good place to leave off the video. If you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later.